Oh, okay, there it is. I'm sorry. I think this is a repeat. <laughs> I know. He literally is still writing. This is this is uh, something I've seen before. <laughs> <laughs> and right. for people coming I keep along. Building the, yes, the I do. I way. do. It's amazing I do. how many young people care. Uh, I'm fascinated by that. What goes on in the concourse with the gremlins? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Can I come sit with you? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's mm -hmm. very interesting because mm -hmm. you figure, yeah, they do that about mm -hmm. a rock star, you know, yeah. or an 18-year-old. Where is the other mic? Oh, oh, she's not right. Just okay. great dresses. I love okay. shoulders. Don't they make you feel like a tall person? Yeah, yeah, I like them too. Me right. too. Except Just like my them. shoulders have always been very square, and I can't take too much padding. Oh, say when you're Good. rolling. All yeah. oh, right, Rudy. Here we are again. <laughs> another opening night. But a new Ruta Lee, look. <laughs> I know, I could have done a double take. I know, isn't it fun? Does anybody out there recognize me? Uh, this is my attempt at bringing a little uh, Fanny Bryce to the stage on the body of Ruta Lee. And um, so I decided that the blonde hair that is my symbol had to go for this show. So Jay Wallace and I worked very hard at pulling together hair that would work for the show. So I have like about five different hairstyles in the show. And it's very exciting and very different. I'm kind of enjoying it, you know. It's a whole other personality, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Rudy, you're going into that now just leads me right into the question. Of course, there is such an ethnic background, Jewish background to Funny Girl. Uh, th has that been a problem for you at all? Not at all, because if you really stop and think of... Funny Girl has such an ethnic background, Jewish background. Has that been a problem for you? Not at all, because first of all, my mother and father were born, raised, and married in Lithuania. So that immediately gives you that Slavic, Russian background that Fanny Bryce came from. Second of all, my father and mother were both in the garment industry in the East, so I grew up in a very Jewish industry. I went into show business that is very heavily populated by Jewish talent. So I automatically can sort of take it on. So a lot of people in this world don't know that I'm Catholic. They think I'm Jewish, which is okay too. And um, I, let me think, what else? She, Fanny, of course, is somebody that I identify with a lot too. A lot of people will say, oh, Ruta, you're too pretty, which I just love, to be playing Fanny Bryce. Well, first of all, I've got to tell you what Lucille Ball told me when I was doing background information on her. She said that she was one of the most stylish women on the face of this earth that she made up for not an absolutely gorgeous face by a quality and a style that you know was really something and you know I think like an awful lot of young girls all around the world when I was 12 13 14 15 16 I never thought of myself as pretty in any way and I got by in all the girl groups and the sororities in high school and all of that stuff by being the clown. I've always been the clown. You know, humor has been what I love the most. So I can identify with not being pretty and, and looking to something else to be on, to be popular, to be in the, in the group, you know. So I can identify with Fanny and, and her not being pretty very easily. Is this the first time you've done Funny Girl? Mm-hmm. But you have wanted to do it for a long time, right? I never thought about doing it because it just didn't seem like my vehicle. And we were sitting in Bud Frank's office here at Casa Manana trying to figure out what show we could do. I really didn't think that I wanted to do Seven Brides. Uh, I like it. It's darling, but it's not a powerhouse vehicle after doing Gypsy and Molly and Best Little Whorehouse and all the rest. And we looked at old shows that we could repeat, and I suddenly looked at this thing and said, what about Funny Girl? That hasn't been done for years. Why don't we pull out a really good show with a fabulous score and try Funny Girl? And everybody kind of stared at me for a minute and then said, oh my God, yes. So here we are, and please God, <laughs> it works. Ruta, the inevitable question, and that is, Streisand created mm -hmm. the role, and mm -hmm. now everybody has to be compared to Streisand as the benchmark. Sure. But then I have to look at it this way. Mary Martin created South Pacific, and Ethel Merman created Gypsy. 
and Carol Channing created Dolly. And am I going to sit and worry about that every time? No, you can't. You just have to let that all go and hope that you will bring something to it that will make it your role for the time that you're playing it. And then I'll let go of it and let somebody else play it. Well, Rudy, you don't have to worry in Fort Worth because it just seems like this love affair just keeps... Well, look at the flowers in this dressing room. Isn't it wondrous? I have so many friends here. I am truly blessed with wonderful friends, yourself included, my darling Bobby Wygant. And it, it is an offering to the Almighty all the time when I walk out on that stage because all I can do is say thank you, thank you, thank you, Fort Worth, for loving me so much and giving me a chance to love you back. You don't know how much that means to me. Oh, Ruta. We do know, and it's a, it's a mutual thing, everybody here. So we'll get out of your way now so that you can, uh, you know, go into your praying or whatever it is that you <laughs> Meditating. <do. laughs> well, my, my prayer is truly that God smiles on everybody and says, please come to Casa Manana, support it. It's the 25th anniversary season, 25 years of wonderful entertainment from this beautiful dome to you, and we need you out there. We need breathing, clapping bodies, and uh, we'd love to perform for you. So please come see us, huh? You've got a new place? You think you'll ever get out? Well, who knows? Who knows? Whenever you want, darling, just call and say, we need the house. Well, we're, uh, are you, is it one of those, like, golf course houses? Or no, no, we're up in the, in the hills oh. in Las Palmas looking down. Webb doesn't play golf. I don't yeah. play golf, so no, it's no big deal either. for us to be on a golf no, course, you know. Either. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't like It sits way up in the arm of this mountain mm. where we look at the mountain. There's nothing in front of us but mountain and the city. Oh, and behind yeah. us, nothing but mountains, so it's just beautiful. And oh, oh, Bobby, what a place oh. to sit with your little yeah. sip of wine and just have a conversation yeah. with God, yeah. you know, and yeah. just say, oh, you did a good job. It's yeah. a good place to yeah. kind of collapse. I did my first studying on, mm -hmm. on Fanny there. It was not an easy script. Like all shows, yeah. it's bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. You know lots has been mm -hmm. cut out, and they said, well, this has to get put in, yeah. and it, it's, yeah, you know. Yeah. Will you be doing it? Any more this summer? Not this summer. Yeah. Maybe. Well, you okay, go on, Bob. <laughs> okay, questions. Do you need a sound check? No, yeah, oh, okay. Got you right here. All right. Okay. This is such an ethnic show. So, yeah. this is such an ethnic show with its Jewish background. Is that difficult for you? Of course, there is always the inevitable comparison to Barbara Streisand. Now, how are you dealing with that? I'm gonna, I'll do that again. How are you dealing with the inevitable comparison to Barbara Streisand in this role? Well, I think that'll do it. <laughs>